Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my brand new G055 LANV 14 inch bandsaw. This bandsaw is actually Grizzly's anniversary edition 14 inch bandsaw. Um, it's all black, it has a Grizzly Bear on it, and uh, you'll see that later on in the video. Um, this is actually my first, my very first bandsaw that is worth noting, really, because the one that I did have was only like a six inch Mastercraft bandsaw and it was a pile of garbage. And I didn't really ever use it, so I was super excited to be able to actually have a, a real bandsaw. I have to put this together first. This little box was actually the lighter of the two boxes. Um, the little box only has the stand that the bandsaw stand, like is on top of, so it was very light. I think a total of like thirty pounds in that whole box. Um, as you can see, those are the two sides and the top, and those are the four pieces for the front and backs. And then there's also a bunch of nut and bolts and stuff to put it together. The base, you actually have to completely construct yourself. But pretty much everything else is together right out of the box, except for putting on the cast iron table. But other than that, the entire bandsaw seems to be completely set up and almost ready to go right when you uh, get it. Those are the two sides, and that piece is the top. Here's the actual bandsaw right here. It's almost completely together. You can see that the cast iron table is not attached to it, and neither is the fence, but that you have to do by, by yourself. You can see the motor sticking out the back there, and there's all the accessories that come with it. So right here was actually where my camera dies, and I was really too excited to go change the batteries, so I decided to just completely put it together and I'll just do an overview of the bandsaw. So the first thing I noticed when I opened the bandsaw, put it all together, first thing that I noticed about it was how these knobs are actually just, you pull them. You don't have to twist them. They're basically just locked in. There's a little tab right here on the door and right here that kind of just click together. So you just push it tight a little loose but you know what all it is is just a guard covering the wheel just really quick and so easy very quick to change the blade and you know what sometimes when you're making a project you have to change the blade a lot especially if you're doing bandsaw boxes or something like that so that is helpful it's on both doors it's on the bottom one too another thing I like about this bandsaw is that the wheels are all cast iron, they're computer balanced, so there's no wobble at all. If I turn it on, it's so quiet. Very quiet. You can still hear me talk over the blade. It does make a little bit of noise, but you know what? That's with any tool. There's going to be noise. There is no break inside the machine so the blade does kind of run for a little bit after which is kinda I don't know if you have to change the blades a lot or if you just like things to stop quickly doesn't have one of those so I, it's, I, I don't really care but some people do so whatever it also comes with this very nice cast iron table very nice and flat both ways all around absolutely no problems there are some minor scratches in the surface but if that's I don't care honestly I don't really care how a tool looks as long as it performs very well which this one seems to perform very well the fence is nice very sturdy 
can get as close to the blade as you want up until you hit either the guide bearings or you hit the blade. You know, one of the two. Another thing about this saw that I like very much is to move the guide bearings up and down. You remove the lock and then all you do is you turn this knob here and it'll move it right up and down. Very smooth, very easy to turn. You can set your height really quickly. I know on most band saws that I've used in the past you have to undo the lock and then you have to jiggle it up or jiggle it down and that's always a pain because you're trying to set it and you gotta use both hands and you're jiggling it. And this one doesn't have that problem. So very easy, very quick setup. My blade is a little dirty. This one has been used quite a bit so you know you get all that gunk from your wood on there especially if you're using wet wood or really sappy type wood. Um, the guide bearings are really nice very quick to set up your guide bearings all you have to do is loosen this one here and basically these are on a pivot so they're on an offset um, pin so all you do is you turn the pin either way and adjust it closer or further away from from the blade I like mine nice and tight and, and the same with the back bearing it's very easy all you do is you loosen this one here and then on the back right here you just pull it turn it in or out and it'll bring this closer or further away very very quick and easy that's the bottom guide bearing set I would show you it's it's basically the same way to set up your top bearings it's just in a more awkward position especially when you're trying to hold the camera so yeah, I'm not going to show that. This here is the table tilt. I haven't actually tried this yet because I haven't needed it, but I do have a few projects coming up where I am going to need this, so we'll see how accurate it actually is. I never even took off the plastic that was there. So the cut capacity for this saw is approximately six inches actually a little more the way that I have it set up right now I can probably cut about six and a quarter inches but in the manual it says only six inches and actually right on the saw it says a maximum cut depth of six inches but I get about six and a quarter so I don't know if that's just my saw or how it goes but whatever I've actually put this saw through a lot over the last week or two I've cut at its max depth with some very hard sugar maple and it cut very very easily it always helps to have a really nice sharp blade but there were a few things that I actually missed out on the back of the bandsaw there is a quick release for your blade tension so that makes it very quick and very easy to change your blades all you have to do is remove the clearance plate that is on the center of the bandsaw there and then you slide your bandsaw blade out of the side of the cast iron table through that uh, track right there there's a little plug that goes in the end you have to make, have to make sure you remove that part too um, Another thing, uh, the lower wheel housing door has the same feature as the top one. It's just a quick pull release to open it. It's a very nice feature, especially when you are changing your blade because you can just pop open both doors really quick. You do the quick release on the top for the blade tension. You pull your blade off, you slide it through the channel. You put your new blade on and it's very quick and very easy. Um, this blade, or this bandsaw actually cuts wonderfully um, I know having a sharp blade helps a lot but even then having the really nice upper and lower guide bearings are very very nice features um, I have pushed it to its 
pretty much max. Like I cut a full six inch piece of sugar maple, like I was saying, and the uh, motor didn't even bog down at all. Um, one horsepower motor seems to be a perfect amount for this 14 inch bandsaw. Um, I can get a riser kit for this saw, but I don't really see myself using anything higher than six inches unless I want to like resaw my own lumber. Uh, or something like that, but uh, I honestly don't really have any lumber to resaw or do that to, so that's really not a big deal for me. Um, I'm extremely happy with how this bandsaw has been treating me. Like, I actually received the bandsaw in uh, early January of 2016, and it's now like late February, and I've been using it a lot. And I really have almost, I, I, like, I, I can't find anything bad to say about it, to be honest. Like, it is a fantastic, fantastic piece of machinery. And I'm very happy with the price point and how, like, flawless it seems to be. And that about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more video content. Um, also, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Josh Miller. J-O-S-H-M-I-L-L-A-R. I know my last name is spelled weird, but uh, have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.